Yeah, we're getting our Detroit diesel 14 liter. We're getting him buttoned back up. Uh, cups, injectors went in good. Uh, got the overhead put in and adjusted. Got the jakes on it, so you had to use, had to kind of mix and match some hardware. Uh, bolt your rack down first, adjust everything. Then you'll remove that hardware and go ahead and put your jake assembly back on. But, uh, yeah, I did find the young and sons up in Indy sent me the uh, chart on how to adjust all that. And I see a lot of similarities between like your old 855 Cummins is they'd kind of use that similar pattern there. Kind of interesting how the injectors adjusted on it. You take it to its max travel and bust your nut loose, tighten that down to where you just feel it start to snug, back it off three quarter of a turn and you're done. So that was pretty straightforward. I think some of these other models you had a, a pinhole like on the old two cycle Detroits where you had a timing pin you put in. Well, I'll tell you what, this ain't this ain't Grandpa's diesel engine. Who would have thought you'd ever had a wiring harness and zip ties inside a valve cover? But you do today. <laughs> yeah, I'm still waiting on my valve cover gasket to show up. I'm going to pour antifreeze in here, get that other jake on. We'll start putting antifreeze in. Hopefully tomorrow we get a valve cover gasket. We can get this thing out on the road. Back to hauling corn and fertilizer. Well, we'll catch you later, folks.